Our lecturer for today is Marinette C. Soriano, graduate of the Bataan Peninsula State University, taking up Masters of Arts in Science and Mathematics Education at Chiang Kai-shek College, teacher too at Jose Abad Santos High School, Senior Department. In this lesson, we are going to find out how philosophers view matter. Malalaman din natin kung ano yung mga dahilan kung bakit iyon ang pagkakapaniwala nila sa kung ano ang mga bumubuo ng matter at kung papaano mas lumiliwanag pa ang kaalaman ng tao tungkol sa ano ba talaga ang bumubuo ng matter. So what are the early belief of ancient philosophers about what constitutes a matter? So let's talk about Empedocles. According to him, all matters or all organisms are made up of different particles of earth, wind, fire, and water. At yung mga particles ng earth, wind, fire, and water ay makakabuo ng isang organism base sa love. At magdidisintegrate naman ang organism na to o magdidisintegrate ang bawat particles kapag nagkaroon naman ng strife o anger. Pero iba naman ang paniniwala ni Democritus. So, according to Democritus, all matter is made up of tiny indivisible particle we called atomos. Ano ba tong atomos or tiny indivisible particle? Halimbawa daw kumuha ka ng rock and you try to cut the rock into smaller pieces. You will come to a point where you will not be able to cut this piece and into tinier piece. So this tiny indivisible particle daw is the atomos and this is what makes up the matter. Pero hindi siya sinuportahan at uh, 2,000 years walang naniwala sa kanya. Kaya mas nananatili pa rin ang earth, wind, and fire na paniniwala tungkol sa what constitutes a matter. So uh, isa yan sa naniniwala dyan si Aristotle. So according to Aristotle, the earth is cold and dry, the fire is dry and hot, the air is hot and wet, and the water is wet and cold. He also tried to arrange earth, wind, and fire according to this sphere. Ang pinakagitna ay si earth, si water ang sumunod, si air, at saka si fire ang pinaka nasa outer, outermost part ng sphere. Babalikan natin ang uh, kanyang model kapag uh, nag-discuss tayo tungkol naman sa paniniwala nila sa motion. So, kung walang naniwala sa uh, pinapropose ni Democritus dati that all matters are made up of tiny particles called atomos, yan naman ay uh, sinuportahan ni John Dalton. So after long years, na-discover naman ni John Dalton na tama si Democritus. So for example, uh, according to Democritus, there are different atoms of different elements. So one atom will constitute uh, the same element, the other atom would have different element naman. And yung mga compound, nabubuo siya kapag ka nagsama-sama ang mga atoms na to in a fixed proportion. So, these are the different features of the Dalton atomic theory. First is that elements are composed of tiny particles he called atoms. Second, all given atoms of given element are identical, having the same size and mass and chemical properties. The atoms of one element are different from another element. Compounds are composed of atoms of more than one element. In any compound, the ratio of the numbers of atoms of any two elements present is either an integer or a simple fraction. Fourth, a chemical reaction involves only the separation, combination, or rearrangement of atom. It does not result in the creation or the uh, destruction of an atom. So, naniniwala si uh, John Dalton that you can never create or destroy an atom. Next, we have J.J. Uh, Thompson. He conducted an experiment involving the cathode ray. So, uh, from this experiment, he realized that, that an atom has an as a particle that is negatively charged. So, papaano nangyari yun? So, from the cathode ray experiment, after he fired the cathode ray, he realizes that as it approaches the positive plate, nagde-deflect siya. So, na-discover niya o na-conclude niya na sa particle ng atom, merong isang negative. At pinropose niya ang 
uh, the plum pudding model. So, mas uh, maintindihan nyo siya kung kumakain kayo ng chocolate cookie. So, uh, sabi ni uh, JJ Thompson, yung mismong cookie is positive at yung mga chocolate na nakapalibot sa kanya, those are the negatively charged particles they later, later on called the electrons. Another experiment is done by Ernst Rutherford by firing alpha particles naman. So, yung alpha particle is positive and then uh, he fired the alpha particles in a thin gold foil and he noticed that most of the alpha particles passed through undeflected but some are deflected and yung iba napaka uh, violent pa ng pagkaka-deflect backward. So, um, na-discover niya or na-conclude niya na yung atom ay mayroong maliit na part na very solid positive. So, here are the conclusions of Ernst Rutherford. So, kung papansin ninyo sa um, atom, sinasabi ni Rutherford na atom is mostly empty space. Kaya maraming alpha particle ang nagpass through na walang problema. But some of the uh, particles nagka-deflect siya in an angle at yung iba naman talagang nag-bounce back. Diyan niya napatunayan na ang ating atom ay mayroong positive nucleus kaya kung yung positive na alpha particle na na-fire niya ay nag-back. So, ang sabi pa ni uh, Rutherford, para daw siyang bumaril ng uh, maraming bala sa isang manipis na tissue paper at yung ibang bala bumalik sa kanya. Based on his experiment, nag-propose si um, Rutherford ng planetary model. Ang planetary model naman ni Rutherford ay mas in-enhance pa ni Niels Bohr. According to Niels Bohr, merong iba't ibang position ang elektron base sa kanilang orbit. So, ito ang bawat orbit ng mga elektron. At sa bawat orbit na yan, kapag ang elektron ay nakatanggap ng energy, pwede siyang mag-jump to a higher level. Pero kailangan niya pa rin bumalik sa dati niyang position. So, habang bumabalik siya sa dati niyang position kapag ka, uh, hindi na siya excited, yung energy naman na nakuha niya ay dapat niyang i-release. At i-release niya in a photon or light. Next model, we have Erwin Schrödinger. So, according to him, hindi mabilis malaman kung nasaan ba talaga ang electron. So, Pinropose naman niya ang electron cloud model. So, kung titignan nyo itong electron cloud model, ang bawat dot na yan, hindi yan patunay na ang lahat ng dot na yan is electron. Yung dot na yan, pinapakita lang yan kung saan maaaring makita ang mga electrons. Nalaman na natin ngayon kung ano ang mga ideya ng ating Greek philosophers about what constitutes the matter. So, akala nila ito ay binubuo ng earth, wind, fire and water particles. Pero, nalaman natin kung paano uh, pinatunayan ng mga scientists na ang ating matter ay binubuo ng atom. At ang atom ay mayroong positive nucleus at mayroong electrons. At uh, nakita rin natin ang iba't ibang model na ginawa ng mga scientists based sa kanilang ginawang iba't ibang experiment. Sa susunod na video, aalamin naman natin kung ano naman ang ideya ng mga Greek philosophers tungkol sa motion. Hi! Kung sa tingin ninyo kami nakakatulong sa inyong pag-aaral bilang estudyante at kung kami nakakatulong sa inyo bilang mga magulang at mga guro, please do subscribe to our channel. We wanted to reach as many as possible. And in exchange, we will commit ourselves, our time, and little resources to create more videos na makatutulong para sa kinabukasan at maayos at mabisang pag-aaral ng bawat estudyante sa ating bansa.